Local SEO keyword research is an important part of any SEO strategy, but it could be difficult for local businesses. If you do it correctly though, you can increase the ranking of your website in Google and more importantly, drive more foot traffic to your brick and mortar store. So in this video, we'll discuss how you can do keyword research for local SEO quickly and easily for beginners. So let's get started. Okay, so to get started with keyword research for local SEO, we need to approach it differently than if we were to do keyword research for national SEO. Okay, so the keyword research for local SEO will be more specific to your geo location. Okay, so to start, we need to figure out some seed keywords. Okay, so the main keywords for your business. So how do you figure out seed keywords? You first need to ask yourself, uh, what is your business and what services do you offer? So for example, let's just say I'm a dentist and I offer many services. Some of my important services are Invisalign, cosmetic dentistry, I offer braces, sedation dentistry. So list out all of the services uh, that you offer. Now the next step is to ask yourself, uh, where are you located? So if you are a brick and mortar store, you know, you have your city, you have your neighborhood, you have your uh, zip code. Okay, so write that down. And you also need to list out other geographic areas you want your website to show up for. Okay, so list out other neighboring cities where your customers might be coming from, neighboring towns, neighborhoods, zip codes, Okay, so list all of those uh, geographic areas down. Okay, so I put down um, Hollywood, which is a neighborhood within Los Angeles. Um, I put down a zip code. I put down Sunset Strip. Okay, so list out other geographic areas that are um, around your office. Another thing that I like to do is also create a list of keyword modifiers that your audience uses to search. That's specific to your industry. Okay, so within the dental industry, people like to search for the best dentist or the top dentist or affordable dentist, right? So keyword modifiers are essentially adjectives that describe um, any search term. Okay, so list those down because you want to uh, show up for keywords that might have that purchase intent. So if someone is looking for an affordable dentist or a best dentist, that person is more likely to go to that specific dental office. And then the next step is to put it into this formula. So the formula goes like this. So you have your keyword modifier like best, top, affordable, um, your business and service, and then your location. Okay, so this is the formula that you would follow to create your seed keywords to begin your keyword research. So a few lists of seed keywords would be Dentist Los Angeles, right? That's like the main keyword. Uh, cosmetic Dentist Los Angeles, Invisalign Dentist Downtown Los Angeles. So these are, are all excellent keywords to start with your keyword research. So the next step would be to begin our keyword research uh, with Google, okay? So on Google, we're gonna type in one of our seed keywords. So let's just type in Dentist Los Angeles. And let's see what we get. So uh, on Google, um, what I'm looking at are some very important metrics from Keywords Everywhere. So what you need to do is install the Keywords Everywhere extension and turn it on. Okay, so with Keywords Everywhere, it unlocks very important uh, keyword metrics and gives you some additional uh, keyword ideas that you can use. Okay, so for Dentist Los Angeles, what you see right below that is the um, monthly search volume, the average cost per click, the competition score from one to from zero to one, and this bar graph shows you um, the monthly search traffic over the past 12 months. So you could see what parts of the year uh, this particular keyword has higher search volume. Okay, and then this star you can save this to your favorites list within Keywords Everywhere. Okay, so I look at this to see if this is a viable keyword and it's 
nearing 4,000 searches per month. So this is an excellent keyword if I do want to uh, target this for my website. Now, if you click on it, there's a list of other additional keywords right here. We could see some additional keyword metrics. So we could see the search volume for all of these keywords. Okay, so what I like to do is look at this, this list and see what is relevant for my business. Uh, let's see here, Best Dentist Los Angeles. We kind of mentioned that keyword before. That one has close to 1,000 searches per month. So this is a keyword that I definitely want to target. There's also Affordable Dentist Los Angeles. Uh, this one is relevant, but at the same time, the search volume is much less than Best Dentist. Okay, so I'm still gonna focus on affordable, but I would prioritize best because the search volume is just much higher than affordable, all right? Dentist Los Angeles salary, um, I'm not gonna focus on this because I don't want to really talk about salary on my dental website, right? Uh, so go through this list and take note of any of the ones that are relevant that have high search volume, okay? Even the ones that are low search volume, even and they are relevant, you definitely still want to target it because this is on a local basis, right? So Los Angeles is a more populous city, but you might be living in a small town. So search volume might not be as important if you live in a much smaller, in a small town, right? Because the search volume uh, most likely won't be there. We also have access to more keywords. So on the right-hand side, you see all of these very helpful widgets. So for keyword research, I like to look at these three widgets right here. First, with the related keywords. So this is a list of related keywords around my seed keyword, Dentist Los Angeles. Okay, so what's related? Uh, dentist near me, uh, best dentist near me. Uh, these ones might not be ideal because there is no location tied to it, uh, but you can add your location. So dentist near me in Los Angeles. Okay. Uh, let's see what's a good related keyword. Affordable dentist, we mentioned that. Uh, dentist near downtown Los Angeles. And then if you look at the metrics and they make sense, and if any of these keywords are relevant, you can star it. Okay. So say for example, uh, let's see, affordable dentist Los Angeles. That one is something I may want to target. I'm going to star it and it'll be added to my favorites list, okay? Now, next widget, people also search for. So these are a list of additional keywords people would search for, you know, when they search for Dentist Los Angeles. So best Dentist Los Angeles that has close to 1,000 searches per month. So I'm gonna start that, because that is relevant. Emergency Dentist, I do emergency, I'm an emergency dentist, so I'm gonna start that. Uh, dentist Los Angeles salary, that's not relevant, right? And then the next widget, which is I think one of my favorite widgets is the long tail keywords widget. So these are long tail keywords that are uh, related to Dentist Los Angeles, right? So this is an excellent list to look for maybe the keywords that you can potentially target in blog posts. Uh, these are less competitive keywords. These phrases have more words in them, okay? So a lot more targeted and maybe the intent might be more lower down the sales funnel they might be more intent in visiting your office and it gives you some more additional ideas as well, right? So look at this list, see what resonates, what's relevant. Look at the metrics. Okay, I like to look at search volume. Um, again, if you, are, uh, in, if you are in a business that's in a smaller town, search volume might not be there, okay? But don't worry, just look at this list and see whatever is relevant. Uh, best cosmetic dentist, that's an excellent one. Uh, let's see, uh, biological dentist. That's something that I haven't thought about, but if that is the type of, uh, if that's you, then that's an excellent keyword to target, okay? Uh, let's see, dentist open Sunday, okay? Uh, Brentwood, Westwood. So this is an, a great thing to look at, right? So Brentwood and Westwood, those are two neighborhoods within Los Angeles. So what this tells me is that people who are looking for a dentist in Los Angeles are also looking specifically more for dentists in a specific neighborhood within Los Angeles. And if you want to look for additional keywords, click on this button right here, find long tail keywords for dentist Los Angeles, and it'll find some additional uh, keywords that are related to Dentist 
Los Angeles, okay? Uh, take a look at this table right here. Uh, this has all of the keywords that Keywords Everywhere found. Uh, you'll notice some stars are yellow because if you remember, it, within the Google SERPs, we did favorite some of these keywords right here, and they will show up in this list as well. Okay. Now, what I like to do is look at the search volume, uh, the cost per click. Uh, this is the competition from zero to one, uh, the trend over the past 12 months, and then you can check out the trending percentage. Okay, so go through this list, see what is relevant for your business, right? Go through here, Implant Dentist Los Angeles, uh, that has over 700 search volume uh, per month. So I'm gonna save that, that is relevant for me. And let's go through here and see what else uh, makes sense, right? Cost of Dental Implants Los Angeles. So this is a great idea for me to possibly write a blog article around, right? When you look at this particular keyword, the intent is around learning about the cost of dental implants. Uh, let's see, dentist in downtown Los Angeles. That one is a great one. Since my office is in downtown, uh, search volume is 260 per month. Dentist Wilshire Boulevard. Now, this one stands out because Wilshire Boulevard is a very popular street within Los Angeles. So what does this tell me? It tells me that uh, people within Los Angeles, they are looking for dentists on specific streets. So if your office is on a very popular boulevard, on a popular street, you may want to add that keyword on your website. Okay, so you can potentially rank for that keyword because people are searching for dentists very locally in on specific streets. Okay, there's even black dentists Los Angeles. So depending on your ethnicity, your race, uh, maybe there are uh, patients out there who are looking for dentists that are, you know, within a specific ethnicity or race, right? So use that to your advantage. Uh, let's see here. Top dentist in Los Angeles, right? It's nice to see that there is top dentist in Los Angeles because when we go back to our keyword modifier, we did list top. So nice to see that this particular uh, keyword has 140 searches per month. Now, Another thing you can do is do competitive analysis, competitive research. Okay, so right now we found a, a list of all of these keywords, right? We can go one step further. So how do we do that? We're gonna go back to the Google SERPs and take a look at our competitors. These are the websites that are ranking on the first page for Dentist Los Angeles, right? So let's take a look at what keywords these competitors are ranking for. So let's click on one of the uh, main competitors, okay? We're not gonna click on Yelp because that isn't a dental website. We are going to click on maybe this one right over here. What we wanna do is click on the Keywords Everywhere extension, and we have a couple of options here, okay? So we can find the organic ranking keywords for this URL, for this page, or we can find the organic ranking keywords for this entire website. So I wanna look at the organic ranking keywords for the entire website, right? So I'm gonna click on that, and Keywords Everywhere will find all the keywords that that website uh, is ranking for. So there are 33 keywords, okay? So you could go through here. It looks like there are there's at least one keyword that we favorited in the past that they are ranking for, and uh, this table has all the keywords that they're ranking for. You could see the estimated traffic that these keywords bring in. You could see the SERP position, so what their ranking is, uh, the search volume, cost per click, competition score, the trend over the past 12 months, and then the trending percentage. So this one stands out, right? Affordable Dentist Los Angeles. They rank 10. So this might be an excellent keyword that I could potentially try to rank for to rank higher than this particular office. Veneers, Los Angeles, California. Uh, they're ranking 14. Uh, the search volume is 10, but Veneers is a service that I offer, so I'm going to take note of this one. Best Dentist in Southern California, they're ranking uh, 12. Search volume is 20, and my office is in Southern California, so I'm going to uh, add this to my list so I can target it on my website. And it looks like they're ranking for the actual address, Okay, so that's really important. Right? So you want to make sure you are targeting your address 
that it's on your website, okay, so people um, can find your website if they search for your address. And you see all of these other keywords here. And there are some that you might not have even thought about, right? Like gum lift Los Angeles. I would have never thought of that particular keyword, but they are ranking for it and there is search volume. So I'm going to uh, target this keyword as well. And detail a smile, uh, detail a dentist. So detail a is downtown Los Angeles. So if there are any, uh, uh, phrases that people in your local community use or acronyms, you want to take note of that because if there are specific uh, nicknames, acronyms, you definitely want to add that to your website. All right. And looking at this list gives you that insight that gives you that information that you probably wouldn't have even thought about if you didn't do this keyword research using keywords everywhere. So this is how you do a competitive analysis. Um, on, on your competitors using keywords everywhere. Now, all the keywords that I've starred will be in my favorite keywords list. So if I click on favorite keywords, my favorite keywords will be listed out here. You could see the metrics for them. And then I can copy this table in, onto you know, a Google spreadsheet or export this as an Excel document. So I could refer to, it, refer to this at a later date, right? When I uh, build out my SEO campaign, these would be the keywords that I would want to target on my website, right? So you would do this process for all of your seed keywords. Okay, so uh, we did the first seed keyword, and then what we could do is go a little bit deeper into maybe the cosmetic dentist Los Angeles uh, topic, right? So I could go in here, uh, paste that, and let's dive a little bit deeper into cosmetic dentistry, right? So you could go through here. The search volume is a thousand, and if I click on it. Uh, you could see some additional keywords from Google around cosmetic dentistry. And then let's take a look at the widgets. So best cosmetic dentist, Beverly Hills, top rated cosmetic dentist near me under the people also search for widget, long tail keywords, how to find a cosmetic dentist. This is an excellent blog post that you can write around, right? So some tips on how to f how uh, people can find the best um, cosmetic dentist in their area most famous cosmetic dentist. You might want to create a listicle listing out the famous cosmetic dentists. Uh, but these just give you some very, very helpful ideas on what additional uh, keywords you can focus on, um, depending on whatever you search for. Okay, so this is the process that you would follow. And then, of course, you would click on this button to find the additional uh, cosmetic dentist Los Angeles keywords, right? So this is how you do keyword research uh, for local SEO. Hopefully you thought this video was helpful. Uh, please like this video if you enjoyed it and also subscribe to our channel and hit that bell notification to be notified of future videos. And if you want to check out our other videos, feel free to click any of the ones on the screen. Thank you so much and I will see you in the next one.